Hello everyone, welcome to a new video today. This is gonna be another unscripted video, so this could take up to 30 minutes just just because of the random pauses that I do, which are completely unintentional. It's just I'm you know, I have ADHD so it makes it extremely hard to concentrate on a single task at a time. Also if there's a, just this also if there's just this random change in my quality, I'm sorry about that too. I uh, had to get. I have to use a different mic than I normally do, in order to, uh, you know, do recordings because I lost my other one. Not really a loss. I just don't know where it is at the moment. I will find it eventually, and then all that'll be fixed. But at the moment, again, no idea where it is. So anyway, so excuse me. Today we're going to be doing. What if Deku? I don't really have a name for it. Uh, look, I'm just gonna explain his quirk and uh, hope it goes well. Basically, he's gonna have a berserker quirk, kind of ish. It's not an emitter quirk; it's a mutation quirk. Basically. Due to certain circumstances, if a certain criteria is met, his quirk will activate, causing an immense power boost. This power boost can get range from... Okay, if we're going to do... Let's just compare it to a one for all percentages. Basically, the weaker variant of you know, the very weak version of the boost, the strength multiplier, is around 15% of one for all. At a, like, half power, it's like 60, 70-ish percent. When it's, like, completely, like, full power, full rage, like, he's about to tear your throat out. Yeah, he's at, le at the very least... A hundred times stronger than one for all at maximum power, even with Fajin. So, like, throw Fajin, which is, uh, if you didn't know, that's a spoiler for the manga. Sorry, I should have said that sooner, but no. Anyway, and so Fajin is one of the quirks. Fajin is one of the quirks of uh, Hush that Midoriya unlocks stop that Midoriya unlocks after a little while in the manga he unlocks it after he gets danger sense and like a few other quirks now mix Fajin which is I'm pretty sure like a kinetic base quirk. I don't really know. I haven't read the manga. I've seen people reviewing the manga, and they never really explained it. I could look it up, but I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'll do it in the next video. Anyway, so it's like, Fajin at full power mixed with one for all at full power. And Midoriya at 50% of one for all with Fajin is equivalent to one for all at 100%. So it's like, really confusing. Just fuse the both and Fajin. Basically, Fajin is a multiplier by two. So, Midori at 100% plus Fajin, that's 200% stronger than normal one for all. And Midori is 100% stronger than that. Uh, Midori with the Berserker, or the Rage Quirk that I'm giving him is like 100 times stronger than that. Now, it's really, really, well, it's not really, really difficult to tell when he activates this quirk. But, uh... Yeah, it, I mean, it's not too difficult, but, it, you know, you won't know it until it's too late, basically. And once it's turned on, it can't be turned off. Like, it'll eventually wear off, but it's fine. It'll eventually turn off, like, it's set on a timer. If he puts it at 100, you know, it'll go off eventually, but... Uh, quirk erasing bullets, Aizawa's quirk, other erasure quirks, even Eerie's quirk can't 
do anything to stop this man when he goes enraged. Because when he does, it's like full powered, you know, no, no holding back. And he has like zero control. Like he turns into a feral beast when he turns, when he goes into this state. He can still speak and stuff, but, you know, there's no convincing him to stop. Like, he will... If he's fighting someone, he will not stop until they are torn to shreds. Or he feels like it's necessary to stop. But, yeah. Anyway. So. Oh, man. You know what? Screw it. You know. This is a rehabilitation one. So, basically, Deku is in villain rehab. Um... So, what I mean by that is, he was an ex-villain, so we're just going to start at the point where he got captured. So, we cut to Midoriya robbing a bank, pretty much. Not robbing a bank, no. We cut to Midoriya in the USJ. You know, he's fighting All Might with the Nomu, and Midoriya in this is, like, jacked. He's like the picture that you saw in the beginning, so he's very, very, you know, buff. And when, you know, he activates this rage form, it's like, hmm, it buffs his muscles a little bit, making him bigger and, you know, taller. Now, he has another ability, but he'll find that out later on. So... Midoriya, you know, he's fighting all might with the Nomu, you know, and then all might is like, he takes out the Nomu, you know, and all might does a very inspirational speech and Izuku's like, how could I forget? Why am I here? No, wait, yeah, I got a better idea. So, Midoriya gets a mean right hook to the jaw. Like, I'm talking, like, full-blown, you know, knocked out right hook to the jaw. So, when he starts to come to, he's like, oh, man, where am I? What's going on? Is that all might? I see that. Give it here. Hold on. What's going on? Where the heck am I? <sighs> Give her the chair back. Now. So, you know, he looks over and he sees that, you know, All Might is standing still, you know, steam coming off his body, and he's like, wait a minute, All Might's gonna go into his debuffed form. Now, if you're wondering what's going on, basically, in this timeline, Midoriya did meet All Might, you know, he did, basically everything went according to the canon, except, well, up until after, you know, All Might charged in to save Midoriya and Bakugou from the Sludge Villain. See, this time, Midor ba All Might said, you, you know, he basically pulled the, you can't be a hero without a quirk, you fool, stuff. No. And, uh, so what happened afterward was that, you know, Izuku ran off crying, you know. His quirk was a dormant quirk, but it was so dormant that it was nearly invisible. I don't know how that makes sense, but, you know. And because of this, he was deemed quirkless. So, you know, he sh ran into Shigaraki, who time skip basically. Uh, he met all for one. Da, da 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 He got his mind manipulated, so... He, it's been... 
Ever since he met Shigaraki, after, you know, he met One for All, I mean, uh, he can't remember anything. He couldn't remember what happened after All for One touched his face. And, if you're wondering, Midoriya now has multiple quirks. Yeah. See, he now has a regeneration quirk and an intelligence quirk. He also may or may not have an another enhancement quirk that just multiplies his power. So he could, this is where his final form comes in. But we'll get his final, you'll see his final form later on. In the, hush! I'm turning off the TV. And stop. You'll see his final form in like the next two parts. If I do plan on making multiple parts of this. Also, I am sorry, I haven't been posting in a while. I'm just, I've just been, it's just been a really long week. It's been a really long past few weeks or a month or so. Anyway, so, you know, Midoriya gets up, you know, his body's actually starting to regenerate. And how he regenerates is his body, you know, his body produces an immense amount of heat, accelerating, you know, it accelerates, his healing accelerates so fast that his body produces an incredible amount of heat. So whatever injury, let's say he gets stabbed in the ribs, you know, the moment the object is removed, the body will start healing incredibly quickly, but it would produce an immense amount of heat, so steam would rise off of the areas. The spot where he was injured. So Midoriya, you know, he's walking. You know, he gets up. You know, he's really angry because, you know, he may hate All Might, but he's not going to let the symbol of peace die. He knows better than that. Plus, he's angry because he was tricked, and he had his mind screwed with, so he's really mad. And you can see that because his eyes turn red. Now, his quirk up. His quirk starts acting up. You know, his body starts growing. Now, until this point, Midoriya's actual quirk had never awoken, so right now it's awakening. So, you know, he starts running, he's like... You crusty handshot! <coughs> Just fist to face. <coughs> Shigaraki crinkles. Crinkles like a Pringles can. Just falls knocked out. Stay down. He puts his foot on, you know, Shigaraki's back, forcing him back to the ground. As Kurgiri opens a portal underneath Shigaraki, pulls him through, and then they dip. All Might's like, Villain, stand down. Shut it, crap Might. Shut it, weak Might. Huh? Who are you calling weak? The same kid you call deemed useless because his quirk didn't wake up. I'm out of here. You know, as he starts walking away, and he's like, Wait! You're Izuku Midoriya? We've been looking for you for months! What? The heck happened to me? Get that out of your mouth. Keep it out of your mouth. I can't... You know, he's, he starts freaking out, he's like, what happened to me, what happened to me, what happened, what happened? You know, and, you know, I'm just gonna say Midnight appeared, you know, and knocked him out. Now, I have no idea what the ship's gonna be in this, so you guys decide. Anyway, so he gets brought back to UA, you know, he's interrogated, he's telling him he doesn't remember anything, so they bring in Shinso, right? He's like, alright, do you remember anything? And he's like, no! 
you know, and then Shinzo uses his quirk. It's true. He doesn't remember anything after being touched on the face by this weird guy in a mask. So... Fast forward a few hours. Midoriya's just chilling out in the cell. Then Nezi walks in, chilling in Aizawa's scarf. So, I'm recording, so please do not say anyone's name. Anyway, so Midoriya, you know, so Nezu, sorry. So Nezu says, So, Mr. Midoriya, just step over. So, you know, Midori, Nezu, Mid okay, let me restart. So Nezu says, ah, uh, young, I mean, Mr. Midori, would you like to go into UA's villain rehabilitation program and possibly become a hero? Midori's like, it's either that or stay here for the rest of my life. That's fair. Sure. Now, mind you, the sports festival, this is during the, uh, week or two time period between the, I mean, before the sports festival. So, now, it is time for the sports festival. Anyway, time skip, few, you know, it's time for the sports festival. So Midoriya is there, you know, he introduces himself to the class, he's part of class 1A. You know, everyone looks at him weird because he was a villain, so they put him in a villain rehabilitation program. Uh, we're gonna time skip to the first fight with Shinso. You know, Shinso's like, hey Midoriya, heard you've been doing good. Is that right? You know, Midoriya chuckles. Shinso's like, so you remember my quirk, huh? Midoriya nods. And I'm gonna say he needs verbal communication in order for Shinso to ask to activate his quirk. So, Shinso's like, well, guess I can't pull one over on ya. See you later, Midoriya. Hey, you know, as Izuku nods and then waves. As, you know, Shinso walks out of the ring. You know, Midnight's like, what? As Midoriya's like, and his quirk's mind control. It's an incredibly powerful and useful quirk. The only problem is, if you know it, it's really easy to avoid. But you don't know how it works. And I'm not revealing. Man could be an amazing hero with it. You know, as Shinso stops, turns around, he's like, thanks, man. That was, that was really cool. Move. So, you know, mm, time skip. It's time for the uh, Izuku versus Todoroki fight. You know, Midoriya starts cracking his knuckles and he's like, So, you want. So, you're the one I'm gonna be fighting. Endeavor's kid. You know, Todoroki's like, don't call me that. I'm not related to that monster. And I refuse to use his quirk. Well, then you're gonna lose. Now, Midoriya, you know, he starts... He's running towards Todoroki as Todoroki makes a giant pillar of ice. Midoriya just swipes his arm to the right, shattering it. And then elbows him in the gut, launching him out of the ring. That's a win. Now... I know I've just been blitzing through this, but we're just gonna time skip to the final fight. You know, it's Izuku versus Bakugo. Bakugo's like, so, 
nerd. So because the nerd has a quirk, he thinks he can win. It's like Bakugo. I Bakugo, you have no idea how long I've waited for this. No. No. You know. So they start getting into it. Midor uh, Bakugo does this how it's her impact. You know, straight into Midoriya's chest. And Midoriya's just standing there with a giant hole in his chest. You know, everyone's freaking out like, Oh my god, he killed him! You know, as the hole... As, you know, all the teachers start running down. As you see Midoriya raise his left hand. As strands of, like, muscle fibers start wrapping around in certain ways. Recreating a beating heart. Oh, that feels weird. That's breezy. You know, as it starts to close, you know, uh, Bob goes like, How are you doing that? Super regeneration. Comes in real handy. Man, did that feel weird, though. Luckily, even if your heart stops, it takes it a few minutes before you actually die. Man, that felt weird. Oh, it still feels like there's nothing there. Oh, that feels weird. All right. My turn. You know, as he buffs up a little bit, you know, his shirt completely tears off. And he just launches towards Bakugo, landing a solid fist in his face. I, like, you could hear an audible crunch. As he gets launched, you know, some teeth flying out, he hits the wall, you know. So, that's going to be all for this time, you guys. This is probably like a really short video. Again, I do apologize for that, but... 